My name is Adrienne Brown, the homeschool mom of eight, and I'm here today answering questions. Well, I got one question, <laughs> which is kind of funny in a way, but it is, I, mean, I know it's serious. This person was serious when they asked the question. And that question was, how do you, how not to lose your mind while you're homeschooling? <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's funny because I have thought about that one so many times. Well, I've been homeschooling for 26 years. And believe me, I had, to, I have had to come up with some serious tricks in order to keep my sanity. And so let my answer to you and my advice to you is, first of all, you better make sure you find you some me time. And when I say me time, that means you got to find some kind of way to meditate on your just by yourself away from everyone your 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 children your husband and your dog <laughs> just be by yourself go somewhere to read god's word or um read some motivational teachings some positive um teachings and just refresh and renew your mind that's one thing i do the, the next thing I do in order to keep from losing my mind is that I always keep myself learning something new to benefit me. So I'll feel like I'm also growing as I'm teaching my children. I don't want to stagnate and be, stag, become stagnant and just sit there teaching them all day. No, I got to worry about learn learn something new because technology is leaving us today so i don't want to be left behind just because i decided to homeschool no and so that's one thing that keeps my mind fresh and uh feeling good i'm feeling good about it because i'm training my own self at the same time and another way i keep from losing my mind is i know um i have set straight up plans, rules, and regulations for my home girls, I mean ladies, without some sort of structure in your home, structure that everybody in your house understand, your husband and your children, you are not going to, it's going to be hard. It'll be so much, um, so much harder for you to run your home and homeschool. And see, I homeschool, I have home, like I said, I have homeschooled for 26 years. And today I have three more that I'm that I'm dealing with. I have a 11th grader who is also doing college classes. I have a seventh grader, and I also have a third grader. Um, that's a wide range right there. But the way I keep my sanity is I have I have taught taught them how to do the things I need them to do so I can be the mother they need me to be. And that means th they know the rules, they know what to do, they know the routine in the mornings, they know the routines in the evening. They know what is expected of them when it comes to schooling, when it comes to f cooking food, when it comes to cleaning their room, doing their, all of that stuff. You must have that stuff laid out. Not just in your head, they must know what it is because that will eliminate you having to say every day, do this, do that. Um, um, not, not to say that you won't ever have to tell, to remind them, but they would know the basics. They would know basically what is, what is required of them every day. And so you have to train them well. And to your, and as far as my family is concerned, I have always had the older ones take over responsibilities so I didn't have to try to do everything. Like my oldest girl, she is very helpful when it comes to cooking for the younger ones, breakfast or lunch. My husband and I are always doing the, the main dinner, the main dinner. Sometimes we she does that too, but it helps me tremendously. My my young kids, they help me tremendously when they when it's time for them, when it's time to clean the house. They vacuum, they make sure the trash is out, certain things I don't do. That's their job. I can't do everything. I'm a homeschooling mom. I have a, I run a business. I am parenting. I am taking, still have bills to take care of, still have classes that I'm taking. So I can't do everything. I, there is, there was a song that says, that said, I am every woman. Yeah, I can be every woman, but I'm, I'm only able to do that because I know how to delegate <laughs> and I know and I have serious structure in my home. It's not rigid, it's not boring, but there are definite 
stretch structure structural systems in place to help my family so this is how i keep from losing my mind and i hope that if you um are serious about getting some structure and keeping your sanity contact me my name is adrian brown the homeschool mom of eight and i have a course that will definitely help you and show you how to get these things in place in your home if you if you are in need of that don't forget um, hit me up on IG. If you go to my Instagram channel, you have to just click on my link, not my LinkedIn, um, my link in the bio, and you it will take you to uh, where you can click on to my to my courses and find out what I'm what I'm talking what I'm offering you. You can also put, get yourself onto my Acuity list and find sign up for a free consultation with me. We can talk together, and I can help you for free, figure some things out. Anyway, once again, I'm Adrian Brown, the homeschool mom of eight. And th that is how I keep my sanity. And believe me, I'm not always sane, <laughs> but that has helped me to keep my sanity thus far after 26 years of homeschooling. Okay, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.